Hello everyone, welcome to TechTech.com. In this short video, we will be understanding what is subquery or nested query. We also call it nested query. Okay, so as name suggests, it's like query inside a query. Okay, so that is nested query. So you can see here in the example, let's say we have some query. Inside the condition, we are using another query. Okay, so this is this kind of query is called nested query fine now we have certain important things related to this mostly what we uh, do is uh, we use this kind of query to reduce the, the complexity like performing cross product is always always costly so what if we know that this inner query is going to result a very less number of records then it is better to perform sub queries rather than going for a cross product okay so and moreover it also simplifies the query so let's say we will have an example just now here but writing this kind of query is a bit simple for users okay so we have certain uh, information about this sub query the first one is these queries internal queries must be enclosed under this parenthesis this is this parenthesis so it must be enclosed under this parenthesis now we cannot use order by here so this was the first point now next one is like we cannot use order by inside this however we can use group by okay to solve all the uh, requirements but order by should not be used inside this now we should note that this is uh, the case of mysql but i am not completely aware there may be some other uh, sql or some other database management system in which they may allow this thing but in general it is not allowed so order by is not allowed inside I mean in the inner query so here we may have two cases first one is like this inner query may re return only one result okay so when we have only one re record returned by this inner query we may use comparison like for example uh, let's say ID equal to or I should write MID in, in my case in our case when we are using movie table so MID equal to something okay so if we are getting only one result out of this inner query we can use operator like equal to greater than less than these comparisons right but if it is re returning more than one record or multiple records then in case in that case we can use set comparators set comparators okay so what are these things we will be understanding but for now we can use for example in any all these things are set comparators so we will study one by one all these things fine so this is the basic of subquery now let's understand this with an example here we have three tables movie m underscore director and person in our database take to underscore imdb so you you know that this movie is an entity and person is an entity and this m underscore director is a relational schema okay it is basically i mean of course all are relational schema but it is basically a table to store relationship among these two that is movie and director fine now what we need to do is we need to find out or list down the movies directed by Karan Johar okay so one approach which we have already seen is that we can cross product all these movie M director and person right and we can get the movie directed by Karan Johar right but you can also think of something using this sub query now as we have learned sub, sub query so what we can do is here in this person we have PID okay and this PID is basically here it is I mean this PID in M underscore director is referring to this PID okay so what we will do is we will find out what is I mean what is the PID corresponding to this Karan Johar okay so what is the PID corresponding to Karan Johar now we know the PID so 
use of this table is over so now we have the PID corresponding to Karan Johar and now we will use this PID to get the movies directed by Karan Johar so let's write it down on the terminal first and then we will write it here so our first approach is to find out the PID corresponding to Karan Johar right so what we will do we will select select PID from person where name equal to and as it is character we will write the name inside the code Johar fine so it will return us the PID of Karan Johar well so we have now PID of Karan Johar now we need to write down and find out the movies directed by Karan Johar so what we will do we will so what we will do is we will uh, first of all find out movies directed by director which has PID this one okay so see here what I am doing here uh, I am finding out first of all I will find out the movies directed by PID this okay so let's write down select title as movies from movie and basically you can see here we have movie movie table and we have director okay so we know this PID now so we have to multiply I mean we have to take cross product of this movie and M director okay and we have to compare this PID equal to what we have okay so so these two table I am using right So movie and M underscore director where where movie dot MID equal to director dot mid okay now it will perform the cross product of movie and this movie table and director table right this movie m underscore director and now we also have to check and pid should be equal to what we have so as it is character again we will use the write it inside the code okay fine so it should return the movies directed by Karan Johar so see you can see movies directed by Karan Johar and now what we will do is instead of using this PID we will write a query here this query which you, which we used to find out the PID okay so let's write it down here equal to and then inside parenthesis we will write the query so the query is this one okay so they should give us again the same result well fine so you can see we have used this sub query so this sub query returns us the PID of Karan Johar and I'm using this PID to find out the movies directed by him okay so what we have done here is we have avoided another cross product with the table person okay so if you have right now we have very less entry here but database is supposed to have millions of entry right and when you have such kind of entries and you perform so many cross product the efficiency will be very low okay 
your database will be slower so while writing query you can make some arrangement to make it perform very fast okay so this is one of the thing if you know the kind of entries in your table you can change the query to make it or to perform it fast so well so let's write down our query here okay so it is select title as movie because I want this column column header to be uh, displayed as movies from movie comma m, under, m underscore director because we are going to take cross product between these two tables okay and then where this is the condition on which the uh, rows or records will be filtered out of the output of this cross product fine so over this condition and another condition is that PID is equal to this fine so this inner query will give us PID of Karan Johar and which we are comparing here right now if you notice here we have given just PID right so among these two tables which we are taking up to here okay which is for the used uh, which is being used for the main query PID is unique right so PID is just there in the M underscore director right so that's why there is no conflict but in case of conflict if we have multiple PIDs in other tables uh, if it was there in some movie table also some PID if consider that there is a attribute in movie table then it will create conflict okay in that case we have to specify that about which PID we are talking okay so in that case we will have to specify that I'm talking about M underscore director director dot PID okay so that's how it will work so I hope this is clear now fine so now you can use subqueries to reduce the complexity of queries okay and moreover it is also easy to understand okay so now in the next lecture we will uh, for example you can see here this is Karan Johar and we know that how to uh, I mean what to, how do we spell the name Karan Johar okay so if we are we don't know then we need to have some mechanism to search over the string that okay uh, maybe it starts with k a okay something like this so this kind of queries are called string comparison queries involving string comparison queries and in the next lecture we will understand how we can work with strings okay so see you in the next lecture thanks for watching if you like this video and you want us to create more such videos please don't hesitate to like share and subscribe to TechTut.